<laughs> Cape Town. Oh man, I do. I can't wait until I can dance again. Yeah. I, uh, oh, I'm, I'm so doing my fun. rehab. I'm getting there, man. I'm getting there. I can't wait to move again. But you want to stick around? Of course, our Friday dance is going to be a Jerusalem special a little bit later. Uh, Jerusalem, a massive, massive hit globally now, and we're going to give it our own spin. So you want to stick around for that? Right now, though, yeah. we are going to be cooking with two of the most beautiful pieces of. Slabs, if you of, will, of meat. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of beautiful meat in the studio today, dude, and it's creating a vibe, eh? Graham, I, 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 I'm, respect me as a human being, okay? I, do, I have man. feelings. I'm not just a piece of meat. Just I said two. I said two pieces then of meat. Then it's okay. Two slabs of then meat. Then it's okay. <laughs> Come on, man. That gets a laugh out of our, our studio, at least. Um, <laughs> dude, this looks majestic. It looks magical. It looks amazing. It looks a little bit Asian. We are inspired today after a long week. Um, let's be honest. I think we all want a dinner on the table that's going to be hassle-free, that is going to come quickly. Here's a tip for a quick meal. The secret is in shopping smart. We're taking pre-chopped veg, ready-made curry paste wow you can do that gravy and even frozen risotto um, easy to make rice i'm seeing in the mix um, and chef clem is going to show us how to recreate one of our favorite probably takeaway meals certainly for me um, and it's easy it's quick it's thai red beef curry in a flash i heard the craziest um, statistic yesterday 80 percent of people will serve canned soup or soup that they've bought and say they've made it from scratch really why why would you be embarrassed just like just serve it uh, yeah i know yeah uh, I've never, I've never felt the need to validate my existence don't, by saying don't. I, I made soup. No, especially um, if Willie's is doing all the work for you and the quality is going into everything that they prepare. I mean, can you chop better than that? Look at that, Julienne. Julienne. Look at the little, little, look at little spirals. Little spirals. No, so I can't do that. It is about shopping smart. What we do is we shopped these beautiful ribeyes. We've shopped the pre-cooked, um, the pre-done rice. We had to pop it in the microwave. The pre-cooked stir fry, uh, pre-chopped stir fry, and the curry paste, which I've got in here, which is a red Thai curry paste. Look at those beautiful colors coming out. So you always want to fry your curry paste. Get those flavors are kind of toasted. It brings out so much more of that flavor. So I'm gonna get it, let that continue frying away. Then let's talk about the steak. So these are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful oh, ribeyes. Look at the marbling. Look at that friend. marbling, at that. yeah. And can you kind of see the shimmer that's on the yeah. steak? That's because I seasoned it with salt ahead of time. Do you realize you've changed my life, eh? With this pre-seasoning of, of yeah? steaks, of, really? of meat in general, but of steaks in particular, uh -huh. dude. You have changed restaurant quality now, every day. And it's just house. because you season it ahead of time. Not that I'm eating steak every, every day. day. I mean, why but, not? Why not? Um, and uh, no, Lindsay, the other day I was like, this is better than any steak I've yeah. ever eaten in a restaurant. Because, I mean, that, that little shimmer that's on the top there, it almost feels kind of slimy, but that's actually what gives you that crust as soon as it hits oh, the heat. That, that so, lovely layer. A uh, beautiful layer. Laser. So, I've got a little gas grill over here. You can do this over the braai. You can do it in the pan. I've got a lot of pans going right now. But over, doing it over a grill is really great because you get those charred lines. It's called the Maillard reaction. It's where the sugars in the meat caramelize and it accentuates the meaty flavor. Maillard. I, you, funny story behind it. The, the viewers don't know this. As soon as I put the steak on the grill, Ryle walked past and he stopped. Yeah, <laughs> he did. He's there. He's this like, is how it goes down in Jerusalem, my friend. <laughs> this is, the this man is how is so, we do it. man loves protein so much, he knows that's, that's his ringtone. He's going to go get his Tupperware. Yeah, that's where he's oh, gone. He's man. going to get his little bucky. But Ralph's so ringtone, load. legit, when it rings, it's like... Steak sizzling. Man loves his protein. Okay, so you get it on a high heat. What I want to do now is kind of form that crust on the outside. You want to sear it and seal it. Yes, but we had the conversation earlier. You don't always have to have to serve meat medium rare. And the reason for that, okay, this is coconut cream going into the paste. The reason for that is there's a lot of fat, especially in a ribeye. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to render out that fat. When you're trying to soften that fat, break down the fat. Give it time to absorb exactly. into the meat to add the flavor, yeah. So sometimes the best way to serve a steak, especially like this, is medium or even medium well. Look at people freaking out at no, home. But I'm telling you, man. Yeah. I, but no, but we, I, I swear people say that just because they've been told that's how you must Because they've been steak. told medium rare is but the if, best, yeah. If you rest the steak properly, if you cook it well, if you seal it and you, and you cook it through and you give it time to rest, it will retain those juices. It sucks back in all of those beautiful juices. The flavor yeah. development beautiful, is soft, amazing, steak. man. Absolutely. Gonna, uh, and while we thank our friends from Taste for this incredible re recipe, as easy as it is, you still might need a little bit of help with it. So we've got the recipe yeah. posted on our website, expressoshow.com, along with all of the amazing recipes we've made this mm -hmm. week. Okay, so what, okay. have you quite a bit of stock in A there? little bit of stock just Cheeky. to bulk it up. Just to bulk it up a little bit. It makes one packet of curry paste really stretch. It's really great. In this pan, I'm going to work on my stir fry really quickly. So I've got a little bit of oil going in. 
and then a little bit of sesame oil just to toast to get the extra flavor. A little bit. And then all I gotta do is hit the, the veggies in there. And I don't wanna cook it too long. I wanna keep the crunch. I wanna play around with the textures that we've got. So the, like I said, pre-done um, stir fry mix. Get it in the wok. Get it in the wok, get it in your pan. And you want a kind of a, a hot pan with hot yeah. oil when you stir fry. You don't wanna give the opportunity for the oil to be absorbed into the, the vegetables yes. and flash fry. So that way it's, it's really healthy and you retain, I think, that crunch and the vibrancy of the, the veggies. And yeah. if it chars slightly, extra flavor. Perfect. So just get it in there, give it a little toss, so you coat it in that oil, super simple. And this is not gonna take longer than a minute. You really want to lock in all that flavor. you don't need to cook these things through. You, like you say, it's just more for the flavor development. You want to see it in those flavors. How those steaks looking? Oh, you can see we've got those char lines. I really want South Africa to char their meat more. Like golden brown, like proper, but like dark, dark, dark brown. That's you, when you get that flavor coming through. If you've listened to me once this week, this whole week, if you only retain one piece of information, seal your steaks, guys. You've got a flavor. Take those steaks out of the fridge two, three hours beforehand. Season, season, season. When you think you've seasoned enough, season, season some, some more. more. Do it, please. And then I'm, let them rest. Yeah. Even that there's is, something about that oxidizing of the meat, like you, you know, the, you, it loses that metallic flavor of the, the you know, that blood-like flavor, excuse the, yeah. to get gory in the, in the details, but it makes all the difference. Okay, so you've tossed those guys, you've literally flash fried them. Look how bright the colors are still. You can almost see the crunch on the veggies. Yeah. So that goes down with a beautiful rice. Like I said, we haven't had to make the rice. We literally just popped it into the microwave to heat it through. Our sauce is looking beautiful. You want to finish that sauce up with a little bit of lime, a little squeeze of lime just to brighten everything up. I just want to say, Ryle, we almost finished, bro. If you he want to knows. bring your Tupperware, just... He knows, he knows. I'm ready, boys. I got the Tupperware. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you in the background. Okay, okay. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so we got our steak. And also, when a steak comes off the grill, it has to rest for like five minutes just to give those chances, a chance, to, uh, those juices a chance to kind of like redistribute through the steak. So to give it just like five minutes, cover it with foil if you are For worried sure. that it's gonna get cold. But it is quite cold outside. Oh, this is so beautiful. That looks lovely, guy. Wow. It's all about the meat today, that Nyama party we're gonna have a little later as well. Oh, yes, that looks beautiful. A little bit of that curry sauce. Look at that. I've been sitting and oh. smelling that, that curry sauce for the, for the last 20 minutes and it is beautiful. It's good, it's good. Let's just check on our steak one more time. Yeah, it's fine. Turn it over. You got that flavor in there. Lyle, Ryle's gonna be one happy guy today. I, I mean, this is gonna have to go far. Ryle, I, I hope you're ready, buddy. This is the gourmet breakfast par excellence. <laughs> Look at his buddy's Tupperware ready. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I wasn't kidding, man. That's he really, literally going to get his Tupperware. This is the easiest way. I say you can get dinner on the table in 15 minutes. Less. Or, or even You've less. done it in five, my friend. Yeah, you've we done in it five. in five. Yeah. But no, you want that steak to rest so that it'll add an extra. So you, you've had a week. It's been a long week. Get home, make this, sit on your couch, just you chill out. Why? Because you deserve it. You deserve it. No, you do, man. You, you deserve it. Deserve it. Check the camera we're at. No, guys, this is really, really going to be worth a little bit of effort. You do the effort in the shop. You come home. It's easy. It's simple, and it is so, so delicious. Find this recipe expressoshow.com.